Hello Mystic Fairies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alyssa and I will be reading your cards today. In this video, we are doing a timeless pick a card reading on what's the gossip on you? What's the tea on you? Let's find out. I'm going to have three piles for you to choose from. Pile one will be using the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. For pile two, we'll be using the Modern Witch Tarot deck. And for pile three, we'll be using the Light Sears Tarot deck. So please choose whichever pile resonates with you the most. Hello, pile one. If you chose this 999 angel message, this is your reading. I'm going to be a little bit close today to the camera because I don't have my glasses on and I literally can't see. So I'm going to be a little bit close today. But it says, I am unique. Thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. Ooh, I'm getting like some sort of free energy like someone who knows how to express themselves very well okay oh something to do with fashion like someone could be talking about like a business like to deal with like fashion i'm also getting like cos cosmetics okay someone here could work at like sephora mac ulta I'm also getting some sort of suit. So I feel like a lot of people are talking about some, like your fashion or what you do for work, um, how you make other people look good. Um, maybe you do makeup or some sort of boutique here. All right, let's get into your message. Spirit God, ancient ancestors, please give me the most accurate messages for my pile ones. All negative energy will be sent back to the sender and please protect my pile ones from all negativity. Thank you. All right, y'all, this is this was actually my first tarot deck, The Wild Unknown. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's my first deck and I barely use it. Like once I got the Radiant Wild Spirit Tarot deck, like I just was using that one. That's why my cards are really old because I've I used that one a lot. But let's get into it. What's the gossip on my pal? Ones, what's the gossip on my power ones? Oh, we got the ten of cups coming out. What's the gossip on my power ones? Spirit? What's the gossip on my power ones? All right, we got three cards coming out. Daughter of of Swords, Page of Swords. Oh, somebody's watching something for sure. We got the Seven of Wands. We also have the Son of Wands. All right, let's see. Oh. <laughs> um, there could be a snake in your vicinity, like. I feel like there's someone that's actually talking about you, not gonna lie. They're a bit jealous here. Um, they watch you a lot. Um, they're like jealous of your success. And it kind of like brings me back to this card, I am unique, okay? Um, I don't know, this could be the reason why they're jealous. There's something about like your expression um, and the way that you feel so like you you do it with you do it with ease like you're carefree it feels like there's nothing holding you back from anything the way that you're able to just express yourself with um, with so much confidence um, and to do the things that you want to do with so much confidence I feel like the gossip is there someone like talking about this yeah you gonna have someone jealous of you there's someone talking about like your success and what you're doing um let's grab some more cards oh we got the sun of swords to the knight of swords oh 
in the tower yes they're definitely talking about something five of wands let's see could be some sort of competition here yeah this so it's there's someone talking about like a decision that you've made something that you have created what's the gossip on my pal ones What's the gossip on my power ones? And oh, we got the eight of swords. I feel like there's someone a bit insecure. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of of insecurity from this person. I think that this person, like, it kind of reminds me of this butterfly here. I feel like they feel a little bit like stuck. Um, they feel a bit like because I, I keep getting the word cocoon. I use that word a lot sometimes, but like um they feel a little bit like constricted like in their cocoon and i feel like you're flying like you don't really care you embrace yourself with pride like um and there's someone a bit jealous of this because they feel like they can't be who they want to be and, and the gossip is that someone's talking about you they're talking about your style they're talking about uh something that you've done that has made you happy or has given you um the ten of cups like I, I get like some sort of business something about clothes um maybe it's the way you style other people's hair you could be a hairstylist or you style other people like someone's really jealous of like your art and like the things that you have going on for yourself and the fact that you're able to express yourself and do what you want without any care in the world like someone's really jealous of that and i feel like they feel a little bit insecure because this is how they are on the inside, you know? When the truth is, I feel like this person really admires you. They want to be as free as you, but because they're having this mental blockage because they're kind of stuck in their ways, I want to say, or they're a bit ignorant. Um, they don't want to, they don't know how to express themselves. So they they kind of judge others and they talk about others because they're insecure uh, let's see all right what's the gossip on my power ones What's the gossip on my power ones? I'm getting, does someone here have a dermal piercing? Y'all, I know this, this is off topic, but I like want a face dermal. Like that would be hella cute. Or maybe like hip, like no, like back piercing. Someone here has like a dermal piercing. Okay, we can have different piercings that may resonate for someone. Oh, sorry. What's the gossip on my power ones? What's the gossip on my power ones? The Emperor and the Justice card. Yeah. Oh, wow. This person's mad because, like, you control your own life. Like, This person's mad because you literally control your own life. This could be like a family member or some sort of friend here. That's like jealous because it's like you're okay with doing things that you want to do. That may be out the norm. That may be, you know, people feel like, oh, you're dreaming too big. Or, you know, you have too many goals. Like you're doing it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting the song Okay by JT. Because what's that one? <laughs> I forgot, but I'm getting Okay by JT. Um, someone's mad because you're doing what you say you're going to do, basically. Or not even that. It's just that you're, you're, it's something about your expression um the way that you come the way that you have an impact on others the way that you spread your light to others this person always is wanting to dim it always um 
They want to make you feel small. But I'm telling you, it's literally because of this. They're insecure. They're always in their head. Um, and a lot of people mask this by talking about others. and um, But the gossip is also... The people literally love you, okay? This is just one person. And I, other people can sense that they're a bit insecure. Or, um, you know, something's not right with this person. Like, some people can sense, like, okay, this is not right. This is a little bit weird. You know, there's hella people that love you and love what you're doing. Um, and love, um, love, love and appreciate your art and your presence and your uniqueness um your style but this person doesn't like that this person doesn't like that other people appreciate you for being who you are okay they want you like someone here wants you to stick to some sort of code to some sort of like restriction um and i feel like this person like Oh, I'm getting like friend energy too. It's something about conditional, like their their love or like their friend, their friendliness is like conditional. Like as long as you do, as long as you don't do better than them or as long as you do as they say, you know, it's then they love you. Then they like, you know, it's they fake like they love you or, you know, it's like, it's, it's a bit weird here, but they're going to be getting their karma with the justice card, Libra energy. Cause this person is definitely watching you so be careful and i feel like there's a little bit jealous and look at this look at this how like you literally stand out in front of everybody like i feel like you're doing something right this means that you're doing something right power one you literally stand out Ugh, i'm getting like that that butterfly card that's in this deck I think it's the six of wands. Yeah, it's given the six of wands. You could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's the gossip on my power one spirit? What's the gossip on my power ones? All right, we got the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person is always talking about this person doesn't even know how much hard work that you kind of put in this. Okay, like this person, I feel like it took you a while to craft whatever this is or maybe even craft your style. Um, I feel like you've been unique ever since you were younger. You were always like the one that stood out and people didn't like that. And I feel like it still happens to you to this day. Um, people don't, it's like you kind of crafted your style and you kind of perfected it. Um, and like you have to start somewhere. Um, even with your business, I feel like you always had like unique ideas and I feel like you inspired a lot of people. However, a lot of people didn't like that. A lot of people didn't like that you fell in line, that you didn't fall in line. Um, that you didn't, you know, you're not the norm. Um, so it's like, you have to work hard, okay? Someone here could be like a YouTuber or some sort of influence here, be, influencer here because I'm hearing something about somebody had to work hard for some sort of community. Someone here had to work hard for their their social media, okay? Um, be, like to find other um like-minded people like someone has to work hard for this and i feel like someone is seeing this now this could be like a mother figure or it could also be um like a friend it's, i'm getting like that 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 female energy that cattiness um where it's just a lot of jealousy and it's because like someone here doesn't have the ability to do that but it's like they do, but it's just like they don't know how. They have to, it's a journey, you know, they have to start somewhere, just like you. Like, you have to start somewhere um, and learn how to be comfortable, even in a world full of followers, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, it's, 
it's something that you had to like deprogram, you know, um, and this person is jealous of that. They're talking about that, but look, you're obviously doing something right if they are and whatever they're talking about is still going to garner attention to you. Okay. Um, but like I said, you have a lot of people who love you. There's just this one this one person, this one bad apple, um, that's, that's just uncomfortable, okay? And it's okay to make people feel uncomfortable. F them, like, I'm gonna stop cursing on YouTube because <laughs> I gotta learn to slow it down, but yeah, power one. Maybe 999 is definitely significant. Sorry for the camera. I'm also getting like the three, 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 the number three. The signs that I get for this are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Heavy Libra, Heavy Aries, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, I'm getting all the signs, basically. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, and uh, Sagittarius. But Heavy Libra, Heavy Aries. And I get heavy air energy, especially coming from the other person. So, yeah, that is all that I have for you, Power One. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, all of that information will be down in the description box below. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hello, Power Two. If you chose the number eight. I am successful. This will be your reading. All right, number eight, your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions, representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. I am successful. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what your tarot cards say. Let's see what's the gossip on you. Spirit God, ancient ancestors, please give me the most accurate messages for my pal twos. All negative energy will be sent back to the center and please protect my pal twos from all negativity. Thank you. All right, let's see. What's the gossip on my pal twos, Spirit? What's the gossip on my pal twos? All right, we have this card coming out. We got the Six of Swords. What's the gossip on my pal twos? The Lovers. What's the gossip on my pal twos, Spirit? What's the gossip on my pal twos? We have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles coming out. What's the gossip on my pile twos? What's the gossip on my pile twos? The Six of Wands. Number six could be significant. What's the gossip on my pile twos? We've got the Two of Pentacles. What's the gossip on my pal twos? We got the Fool. What's the gossip on my pal twos? Oh, we got the Ten of Cups on the back of the deck. And we have the King of Swords coming out here. The gossip on you, Pal 2, is that you've been a little bit more um, impulsive, I feel like, um, or like motivated to like chase some sort of dream. I feel like someone, someone here, the gossip is that someone here like left something, um, left something to 
to become a great be to become the greatest version of themselves um i feel like something here wasn't serving you anymore it could have been a relationship it could have been an environment and i feel like you've left could have even been like some sort of work situation and i feel like you've been on the right path ever since i feel like you've been more successful and we have the six of wands so it's like as soon as you left as soon as you stepped into that new energy i feel like everything has been going good um things opportunities have have been knocking everything has been going your way um we have the six of wands here so i feel like um you're becoming more popular like you're you're um trying out new things okay you could be popular on social media or known in some sort of way um the lovers in the two of pentacles we got Gen gemini energy um The gossip on you is that I feel like you have a lover here. Um, I feel like there's someone who is like deeply attracted to you. Um, but I feel like it's been a little bit confusing. And it might even be the type of situation where maybe like with all this new stuff happening in your life, you might... I feel like you have a connection with someone, but it's kind of like you don't really have time. Someone here could be juggling on like, trying to be like in a relationship. Um, like someone here, I feel like wants to be single, but they also like, you know, they question like, you know, what if I was in some sort of relationship here? But I feel like you do have a connection with someone. Um, and I honestly don't get any negative cards around this. I feel like if you were to get with this person, this person will follow you in your journey. I feel like um, this is a this is an important season that they should be in in your life. I feel like they're gonna this person is going to propel you to somewhere um somewhere that you may have more success or they may offer you open doors for more opportunities for you um this person will understand what where you're going and want to follow you in your journey okay this will also be a thing is like this will happen as soon as you leave something okay um there's a lover here that wants to be in your energy um but i feel like there's a little bit of juggling here like someone here doesn't know doesn't want to give up being single but they also want a relationship here like because i feel like someone here may have just gotten out of a relationship and they kind of want to like experience being single so sorry i don't know if you heard that noise but they want to someone here wants to experience being single or is like also worried about like if you get in a relationship like can you are you still going to be able to feel free like you know uh, are you still going to be able to live that single life so um i definitely feel like this connection won't hold you back. This is something that is meant to come into your life, okay? The gossip on you is that... I feel like you've been saving up a lot of money to do something. And I feel like people around you didn't necessarily know. Like, you could have, like, popped out or you could have, like moved without hesitation like someone here saved a lot of money so that they can kind of get out of some sort of situation um this could have even been like a job like um saving 
and working a job until you found another one or maybe you wanted to move out of the state or your city here the gossip on you is that people find you to be a little bit flirty okay people think that you're dating around i will say that um like the gossip is like you've been a little bit people think that you've been a little bit carefree and um the gossip on you is that like someone here is really enjoying their summer like i don't know if you post on social media maybe you've been traveling or just living life but people are talking about how like your summer has like people think that you've been having like a lot of fun like um the gossip on you is that you're the life of the party and that <laughs> you have a lot of people who like you but i definitely feel like there's a specific person here that is supposed to come into your life or is here in your life and they're gonna help you on some sort of journey and this all happened because you left something and i feel like you could have you you will meet this person networking or you're gonna meet this person from a friend of a friend or some sort of thing like that um because people are going to start noticing you more because i'm getting some sort of big city someone here moved to la new york maybe miami i'm also getting like texas oh i'm getting hawaii i'm also like columbia someone here could have visited japan but yeah the gossip on you is that you've been having fun um and I don't get any negative energy in this reading at all. Like, people just see you doing your thing. And people believe that you're stable. And people also think, like, even though that I feel like you may have not told a lot of people about this change or you're leaving or about how you're saving up to leave or you're saving up to do something but they know that it took hard work i feel like you've kind of been a little bit under the radar and you're like popping out again um so people like assume that maybe you were working or working on yourself here someone here could have just reactivated their social media yeah, I'm getting like a fresh start for someone. Like someone here is like having some sort of fresh start. And you're like successful. Like everything has been going the way that you've wanted it to. Everything has been working out as planned. Um, even if you've had some sort of setback, it was meant to happen. Because if it didn't happen, you wouldn't have these future opportunities that are going to happen. Or you wouldn't have the opportunities that have happened. Um... The gossip on you is that you could appear to be very confident at the moment. Um, someone here, I pile two, I'm getting like someone here is not around for the BS. Uh, uh, the gossip on you is that you don't like your time wasted. Like you hate when people waste your time. So it's not, it's like you don't really like to, not to say you don't like to hear people talk, but it's like you don't really have time. Um, it just seems that you're on the go. Like that's the gossip. And there's, and you've been happy. <laughs> um, I'm hearing booked and busy. Like you've been on the go. I feel like you've been meeting different people. Like the gossip on you is that you kind of been dating around. Maybe you're going out more. Maybe you've been traveling more. But you, like you saved up for this. Maybe you've moved and you kind of like you're going out in your new town, exploring. Um, and you, you seem very happy. Um, it seems like nothing can bring you down at this moment in, ooh, in this moment um yeah i will say that people are talking about how different that you are now than when you were stuck in some sort of situation um 
and I think it's also kind of because like these people didn't really know the real you there's something about getting out of some sort of situations where you're able to kind of express yourself more and really be who you want to be and really chase out the things that you want you really want to be so I feel like there are some people who weren't close to you it could have been like co-workers or you know acquaintances that really didn't know like um really know who you were knew you could have changed like the gossip on you you could have changed your hair your style um and i feel like these people really didn't know like who you really were okay because maybe in this past situation you had to put up a mask or a front um you couldn't really be yourself but now that you're gone a lot of things have been working out. You've been networking more, more attention. Um, people are really seeing you. Um, and you have this lover here who wants to be with you, but I feel like you just, you kind of, you're a little bit scared because you really, it's like you're just now beginning this new start. Like you're just now, um, like living life, okay? So, um you're a little bit confused on if you want to be in a relationship or not. However, like I said before, I think this person is going to be um, important for this season in your life. And the gossip on you is that you've been extremely carefree. I'm getting Aries, not like extremely like crazy carefree, but it's like you, you become more open, okay? The signs that I get for this reading is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Heavy, Aries, and Heavy, Gemini. So yeah, power two, that is what I have for you, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, all of that information will be down in the description box below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hello, Pow3. If you chose number seven, I am brilliant. This will be your reading. You possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most. Okay. Ooh, so the gossip on you is that you could be intuitive. A little bit reserved a bit of a mystery okay let's see spirit god ancient ancestors please give me the most accurate messages for my pile threes all negative energy will be sent back to the sender and please protect my pile threes from all negativity thank you sorry if the camera shakes kind of don't know if that will help <laughs> all right let's see here What's the gossip on my pile threes? What's the gossip on my pile threes, Spirit? Seven of Wands coming out. Oh, we got two sevens. Seven might be significant for you. What's the gossip on my pile threes? What's the gossip on my pile threes? Y'all, we got seven, seven, seven. Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, oh, and then I saw the Strength, I think the last time I shuffled, um, I'm getting the word Warrior, okay, let's see, what's the gossip on my pile threes? The Eight of Swords. We got two eights as well. So we got seven and eight out. That could be significant as well. Oh, what a transformative time for you. Sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. We got Temperance on the back of the deck as well. Okay, I'm getting something about like like someone's being in their shell at the moment. Let's see. What's the gossip on my pile, please? Shh. 
Should I take these mini cards? I'm gonna take them. We got the Seven of Cups. Oh my gosh. The Ace of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Queen of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups as well. Let's see what we have on the back. We have Justice on the back. Pal 3, the gossip on you is that I feel as though you've been through a lot. Um, Cause when I got warrior, like someone here like had to like fight for something. Um, I feel like people here, like, in the past may have kept, you know, throwing stones, picking at you maybe. Um, and I feel like you've tried to stay calm with the seven of wands, tried to remain at peace, no matter how much these people were irritating you. And I don't know exactly what this situation is. Um, it could be multiple situations with the Seven of Cups. Uh, someone here, like, okay, so I'm getting like this may be a little bit of the opposite from Pile One. I feel like someone here could have struggled a little bit with identity, but it's literally because of outside people. Um, Cause with Pile One, I felt like they were really expressive. Like they kind of broke free from this, but I feel like you have like a lot of people around you really putting their two cents in into what you should do with your life. Um, like people here like they try to play with your intelligence and literally you have the card saying i am brilliant so this is your confirmation like you're not dumb even if these people are trying to make you feel like you're dumb like you don't know your worth you don't know yourself we got the ace of swords and the number seven card you're you're not dumb like this is me reiterating that this is your confirmation this is the confirmation that yes they have been playing in your face and it's not you it's them um I feel like you've been through a lot and I, the gospel is people know this. Um, someone here could have been through a divorce or some sort of breakup that could have been so like very heavy. There are people talking about this, um, your divorce or your breakup, but people literally don't know that this partner was toxic you had to fight tooth and nail to get out or to gain the mental strength maybe even physical strength to get out of this situation like people don't know that okay so here i got a situation that just popped in my head this could have you could have been with someone who was narcissistic and they like to uh basically like put up a front that they're like a certain way in front of other people like they're all nice like they have everything together um they were perfect in a relationship and then they try to turn it around and make it seem like it was your fault and i feel like there's been this constant gas lighting and constant thing where like people made you feel like you were stupid or that it was you and that's literally not um people try to play with your intelligence um and yeah, so I feel like this breakup or divorce for you or some sort of separation, like it's been hard because this person could have dragged you through the mud and you could have had their family, their friends, or people just random people just coming at you because of this person. Um, this could have happened in the past, okay? Or it could have been more recent. Um, but 
I just feel like you're over that now. Um, these people could have recently been seeing a new side of you that they're talking about here because we got the justice card coming out. You will, if this could also be some sort of legal situation. You will get justice um, for this. Cause okay, this doesn't even have to be a lover. Someone here has been framed, like defamation is what I'm getting. Like ten, of, like this, like I would get, like y'all have been stressed. Power three, ten of wands, justice. Like okay, this could have even been someone that you worked with with the three of pentacles. Like there could be some sort of lawsuit or something like here something here you're going to get justice for this you're going to win but someone here has gotten framed so i'm getting a a lover situation but also in general someone here has like drag drug drug dragged your name in the mud i'm so sorry for my lack of grammar but um yeah someone here literally dragged you through the mud and like I don't know. I'm also getting here. Someone's like, I don't fight. I'm going to call the cops. So, like, someone here is, like, literally getting, like, lawyers involved. Like, someone here just, like, threw up their hands. Like, Power 3, you could have threw up your hands. Like, yeah, I'm getting a lawyer. I'm calling the cops. Like, we're not doing this anymore. Um, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, like that's a gossip i'm also getting something about this this might not this definitely won't resonate for everyone i guess but like someone here who was a landlord and they had somebody renting out their property and they kind of like trashed it or something like that um i feel like you're going to go to the law you're gonna sue or um make them pay some something i don't know where that came from but someone here could have been renting out or maybe even someone here is letting someone stay with them but they turned out to be either fake or you know not the clean the the, the most clean person so it's like you maybe they kind of you know damaged your home or something like that um you're going to sue is what i'm getting and you're going to win um so yeah like I feel like a lot has been coming out all at once. Like, you've been having a lot of issues or, like, something has been very heavy on your heart, pal three. Um, like, it just seems like a lot of problems. And someone here could have did something like, you know, I won't say nobody put, like, like, I don't know. I do get, like, magic or something here where they could have, uh... I don't have the magician card, but the fact it could have just it could just be someone wishing on your downfall. Okay. Um I feel like there's a, been a lot coming at you, but don't worry. You're going to be a warrior, okay? You're going to come out strong and you're going to come out as the good guy or the good girl in this situation. Everything is going to turn into turn um to your favor. Um but yes, I do like i get those situations but i also do get a lover situation where someone here may have put up a front and could have uh you know tried to damage your name your brands um and i feel like it's kind of been taking a toll on you okay people could be talking about this um i'm not gonna lie. like people especially like outsiders like people not close to you like people just kind of feel like there's been a lot like like people just be coming at you for no reason like that's what people are saying like that's the gossip like like outside like people like they feel like people are coming at you for no reason even people close to you um they they really like people kind of made it out to seem like these toxic people that you had in your life made it out to seem like you weren't genuine that you weren't the person that you say that you are and i feel like someone's like really hurt because it's like how could you lie like someone here has really been lied on like and i get that like it's like how could you lie on me like you know you know that i'm not this person and the people closest to you and also there's some outsiders that watch you um they feel like 
you know, like, wow, the people, this is like happening for no reason. And they're going to support you um, through what you're going through. Um, Cause these people know, especially like the piece, the people closest to you know that you're a genuine person, that you didn't do any of this and that, you know, you're a good person. Um, so I feel like you're going to be standing up. You're going to be speaking your truth a little bit more. And I feel like the gossip on you now is that you could be like shutting that ish down. Like you're not, it's like you're not playing anymore. Like y'all played on my intelligence. Y'all really, like someone here's y'all really thought I wouldn't do this. Y'all really thought I wasn't gonna sue. Y'all really thought I wasn't gonna call the cops. Or someone here's like, y'all really thought I wasn't gonna be standing up for myself. Like, no, it's like someone here is like standing on business. And I feel like these toxic people are talking about now, like how you are now and how you kind of switched up because now it makes it seem like you're the villain like you were really the villain all along but it's like before you wasn't even saying nothing like you was letting that ish slide like but it's like now that these people made you feel like you were crazy these people made you feel like very low in it it could have affected your um your self-image in a way um it really could have qu made you question yourself but it's like no like these these people like you're done like someone's like putting their hands up like i'm gonna just take this to court <laughs> or i'm gonna just like I'm going to protect my reputation. Someone here is now trying to protect their reputation. Um, and they're like, you're standing up for yourself now. And people are a little bit, people are like, are talking about, yeah, you were like this all along. Like you were the villain all along. Like, and that's totally not true. Um, and I feel like people are talking about this. And I feel like they're saying it behind your back as well because now they don't want to say nothing to your face. Now they're scared. But I feel like now like they're they're kind of saying this like to each other, like, you know, birds of a feather flock together. So yeah. But as I told Pal One, if you don't have no haters, if people are not talking, then you you're not doing something right. I feel like you pal three, you're obviously doing something right. Um I feel like you left and it's something where you realize your worth. Um, you're getting all of your good karma. Everything that you've lost emotionally or even physically is all going to come back to you. And um, I feel like you're really stepping into your power by by standing up for yourself and really um, protecting your reputation. Um, the gossip on you is that you appear to be stronger and wiser. However, I do believe that these people, you know, they, they want to make it seem to each other that, you know, you were the bad person. But they're literally delusional, okay? <laughs> they're delusional. Don't worry about them. Um, but you're being seen as strong. Um, and you're being seen as someone who's moving on from this, whether this was a relationship or whoever was dragging your name through the mud, you're moving on for, from this. And it's like you finally understand, you finally know like, no, I am a genuine person. Like I come from a place of love, you know. Um, it's also given that energy where like, maybe a narcissist lover or maybe some, you know, like, um, like negative people is like they kept poking you and they poked you for years months and then the one time you snap it's it's your fault like you're the villain the one time <laughs> that you that you literally you're like f this like you know you ain't ish like it's like oh wow like you're a bad person like you're negative but they've been negative all this time like they've been picking at you all of this time um and i feel like you finally like you're just now like showing them who you are okay um and yeah you're gonna win this this whatever if you have a court case um 
I'm getting like lawsuit, like someone's gonna win some sort of lawsuit. Okay, this is off topic, but this could even be some sort of like, like just shady business with people, like a shady business that tried to get one over you. Like, um, like you're gonna win a lawsuit, you're gonna win big money, okay? Um, yes, file three, I really hope that wasn't confusing. I got a whole bunch of situations. Um, I will break it down for you again so i got a, a a lover here that could have drug your name through the mud um and affected um other people's perception of you that was totally not true but these people thought in negativity anyways i got like some sort of shady business here that could have got gotten one over you and you know they're you know gaslighting you making it seem like you know this didn't happen you were in safe hands blah 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 um, could have even been uh, some sort of friend here, making it seem like you were the bad person, maybe family. Just in that, like, I just didn't want that to seem too confusing because I got a whole bunch of situations here. And yeah, the gossip on you is that you're finally standing up. And, you know, like, I feel like someone here is going about something the smart way too. Like, they're ending it ending this on a smart way and you know people like you're playing you're playing chess not checkers anymore okay and yeah these people have been gaslighting you and making it seem like you weren't smart and that you didn't know your worth but yes pal three that is what i get for you thank you so much for watching take what resonates and leave the rest don't forget to like comment share and subscribe oh the signs that i get are heavy libra i get Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, that's all that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.